What we're gonna do is bacon wrapped and stuffed shrimp and also a squash Rockefeller. So the bacon shrimp, what I do is I've got real large shrimp. These are about a about an eight per pound, six to eight per pound. We've peeled them and deveined them and left a big, nice, wide swath there. Then what I do is I take a mixture of horseradish, butter, breadcrumbs, and Parmesan cheese, and I mold it to fit into that cavity. And we stuff the cavities like that. Is after we've got them stuffed, and we're going to season the outside of that shrimp and then we're going to wrap them up in bacon and we're going to throw them on the smoker these are nice big shrimp it really helps to do extra large shrimp with this recipe because shrimp cook awfully fast so we're going to slow smoke them on the smoker and then we're going to finish them on the grill the other recipe we're going to do our vegetable dish is going to be what we call a smoked squash rockefeller we've got regular normal size yellow squash all we're going to do is we're going to rub them with a little bit of vegetable oil and put them on the smoker for about 45 minutes to an hour. We want to cook them about three quarters of the way through. No seasoning or anything at this time. So we're going to go over to the cooker and put all these on a real cool spot, about a, hundred, about a 200 degree part of the cooker. So we're just going to stack our squash in there. The coolest spot of the cooker is definitely down here. This is going to be right around 200 degrees. And we'll put our jumbo stuffed shrimp in there. Okay, the squash have been on the cooker about 45 minutes. We've turned them a couple of times. We don't really want to overcook them. So we're going to go ahead and pull those off. Meanwhile, we'll give the shrimp a turn. And we'll pull those off in about 20 minutes and get ready to go to the grill with them. Okay, we'll go ahead and stuff the squash now. And you want to leave just enough of the squash on the side so that the, the little boats, we call them, the little boats don't fall apart. We don't put any of the squash back in there. The stuffing is the best part of this dish. Our Rockefeller mixture is a little bit untraditional, but it's got spinach. Um, what we do is we saute um, green onions and garlic and celery in butter until they're nice and soft. And then we add Parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs, and the, and more, and the spinach. And I put just a little bit of sour cream, and then we add some shredded Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese to it, which gives them a really nice flavor. The squash, either zucchini or yellow squash, tend to be very porous, and they accept the smoke flavor really well. They, they make a really nice balance. And they don't get, they don't taste overly smoky, but they do taste what little bit of smoke we put on them in that hour. I want to get the coals stacked up so we, we make a little extra room for our indirect cooking. When you do an indirect fire, you want to make sure if you've got one of the grates like this that has the, the, uh, the hinge, we want to do that. That way, if we were cooking for a longer period of time, not all, not all of the kettle grills like this do this. This one particularly does. You can lift this hinge, drop charcoal in it, close the hinge back up, and keep your food cooking right there. The gloves are a good insulator, even these little thin plastic gloves keep your hands from burning up too much. We're going to leave some room on there for the shrimp, which we're going to put on in about 10-15 minutes we'll put the shrimp on. Our squash have been on the, uh, on the grill about 15-20 minutes. I checked them a little earlier and they're starting to look nice and melted and bubbly. So they're going to be done in 5-10 to 10 minutes. We're going to go ahead and put the shrimp on. I like to get the shrimp a little closer to the flame. My personal preference is I'll eat the bacon, but I want the bacon to be a little crispier. So we're going to let it go about three or four minutes on this side. 
leaving it right on top of the fire. Then we'll flip them one more time and um, they should be done in about six minutes. There we go, smoked squash Rockefeller and horseradish and bacon wrap grilled shrimp.